Good night to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. Have you ever thought, where was the purse line you eating on made? Where does it come from? And where was it created? Here with us is Marek Tocua, an artist and also a designer of Porcelain. Thank you very much for this unique invitation. Sir, you told us about your, the story of your life, which touches three continents already, and uh, Europe, Poland, Israel, Brazil, New York. You told us about how um, here in Poland we are manufacturing until today um, porcelain and products which are sold all over the world. Mm, and it's all extremely interesting. And, but what is also, what can, can you tell us also about uh, your creation of porcelain and your everything what you, I would say, created and designed? Because you mentioned that you created your own material, your own porcelain. What does it mean? Are there different type of porcelain? Why, why is it like sometimes the porcelain is so thin and the other times thick? Well, porcelain is, of course, like any other clay. You can be produced very thin because we can cast it in mold, so it's very thin and transparent, but it also can be thick and, and very like, like a hotelware, so for example, are very thick. But when then the tableware are very thin and delicate. These days, they are not so much uh, producing this very th thin porcelain because there is a, the process is mechanized. There is a new, new machine which is making and it's already changed. Before it was really a lot of handmade, now it's less and less of that because it's, uh, technology is taking a part of that. But here in the studio, we're doing everything by hand. It's handmade porcelain. So here we do have it very thin and delicate porcelain. But also, also we, we're experimenting. We're trying all the time to develop new possibilities and new processes and new uh, effect, which is we can get it from porcelain. And here, for example, we developed uh, a couple of years ago, uh, because porcelain is associated always with white and glossy uh, uh, material. And we decided to change that a little bit, and we decided to make it color porcelain. And we developed color porcelain, uh, as, you, as you can see, in different colors uh, by by having a uh, uh, slip of porcelain uh, color, and we can cast it right away in color, but we can also cast it in two different colors. So, so it's a color porcelain. It's not only painted. No, it's not painted. But it's a different color of, of the material Of the itself. material, that's right. As, as I understand. Well, very modern uh, shape, but also, yeah, I would say, unique and beautiful. We, we see, we're trying to actually to... Um, be make a little bit different between the industrial product and product from the Chimelu Design Studio, which is the handmade product design. So we're trying to develop uh, uh, this kind of thing, which is factory cannot do it, for example. This is, can be done only in the studio. So our shapes and our uh, process is a little bit different. But also we, we, we're thinking differently about product, utilitarian product. And for example, uh, this cup, is uh, we call it extra large. Extra large, because it's really larger than normal cup of tea. Because we want to actually make a universal object, which is, can be breakfast, uh, eating from it. Uh, uh, but it's good for latte or something, because I always, I always think that the cups are too small, for example, for tea. Because I want, I want to drink more tea, <laughs> and from a bigger cup, absolutely useful. Or a big latte, where you can just put so much milk. Exactly. So we, you see, we, we are uh, looking for this kind of uh, requirements, I would say, and responding to that. I thought it was um, exactly that, uh, morning large coffee for the croissant or, or, the, or larger plate. So we created very unconventional uh, uh, cup, which is big, you can serve uh, many different things. So this is our kind of... Uh, 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 Rethinking it yes. all. Yeah, we're doing search for the for the new ideas, and that's uh, coming like that. But the color porcelain is very popular now, and we, we people love it because it's not so. It, there is not so much this uh, uh, glossy, this white and gold decorated porcelain which is we know it from previous years. So there is a kind of innovation in that material and in that product, which is actually we, we have a very good feedback and. Uh, it enjoy. seems like this one is less breakable. It looks less breakable, but probably 
Torsel and break. That's the who can help it. But this is stronger, yes. And, but I have to have to say, porcelain of Chmielów is very hard, hard paste, it's called. It's fired to 1,400 degrees, and it's very, very hard material. The plates are, have special glaze that you coat with the knife on the plate and doesn't scratch. So all this is a kind of technical things which is make this porcelain very functional and very durable and very utilitarian in a way. And that's why it's like that. Uh, we, I've seen a huge amount of porcelain here in the, in, the, in the factory, which is destroyed, which almost breaks my heart. But why is it so that uh, so many cups and plates and are just rejected. rejected and to be thrown away? Porcelain is very difficult material. It's firing so high to 1,400 degrees, you bring this material to the maximum of its resistance. Its structure is very soft in the kiln. It's in the, in the top temperature, it's soft like chewing gum. So the construction has to be done of the form very well that doesn't deform. But nevertheless, there is a lot of accident and there is a lot of problems in the firing, in the glazing, in the drying. So there is, on different stages, different, different problems. But the final product, which is coming out of the kiln, uh, becoming very well uh, selected. People, there is a special group of people here which is... Uh, uh, selecting this porcelain, observing every plate is looked into it, if it's clean, if there is no dot, if there is no little pocket of air or any other uh, imperfection. Every third or every fourth product in porcelain is, is becoming second or third quality. So that's why we have a lot of second quality, but there is also a lot of rejected which is we're throwing, we're seeing here, throw, throwing a lot of porcelain. So if, every, if someone is very angry, he can just get a job here and, and, break. <laughs> and break the porcelain. <laughs> yes, because it is simply, it, with, this porcelain is very hard material, but when it's broke, they have to crush it and using, I don't know what they're using for, but they're taking that from the factory to some other places. And I, I don't know what they're using with that. But we do rejecting a lot of porcelain. That's why porcelain is a little bit more expensive than, than other materials, uh, clay materials, because of that, that not every object is 100% is, is successful. So just to say, to sum it up, basically not the clay itself, it's so, not the porcelain itself is so expensive, but it becomes expensive through the, the process the product because it has its imperfections when it's created uh, so many of them and it's so difficult. Many you get rejected, right, right, right. But also this, this porcelain also is expensive, this one, because it's also hand painted. Most of the things, hand made a lot of things are hand attached and all that, of course there's a lot of hand work. But the most uh, complex part is this gold, the decoration, hand painted, that is really a lot of effort by professional people who work here for many, many years, and they're skillful uh, uh, artists, artisans, artisans actually, who can create it, this kind of perfect gold line or uh, application of colors and everything. So that's also expensive because of that part. So now we know why the porcelain costs so much and why it's also so delicate because of the process of creating it. So whenever you drink something from a cup or eat something on a porcelain plate, remember that every third or every fourth of such plate needed to be broken to create this perfect one which you are using. So remember it because it really opens there in our mind a different perspective.